Today, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Tri-Beam Laser Rifle. This thing right here is a weapon, a standalone weapon from the Junkyard Overhaul mod, which is kind of annoying because I really don't like downloading Overhaul mods. I feel like the balance in Fallout 4 Vanilla, while flawed, is the way I like to play for consistency's sake. So this thing did alright New Vegas when I tested it yesterday and obviously it is from there and Fallout 3 didn't make an appearance in Fallout 4 simply because this thing was taken over by the uh, muzzle mods you can make you, you could sort of make an actual shotgun rather than just a tri shot um, uh, wasteland built thing but yeah the aesthetic of this is superior and we've got a um, creation club mod uh, texture there just to match Phoebe's uh, Institute faction which is nice anyways we'll go ahead and get stuck into these gunners right away we'll start off with a crit there and uh, since we're playing by the modders rules here this thing is a little bit um redundant in how I'm actually able to compare this but as you can tell there we are doing pretty terrible damage to that gunner and that is because we are playing on very hard now it doesn't help that the modder has slowed down the uh, laser rifle was firing speed to match what it was in Fallout 3 in New Vegas because you could actually rattle off shots pretty fast compared to previous um, installations of Fallout in the vanilla Fallout 4 but unfortunately there is not much we can do about that other than changing the difficulty down which I will just do after we're done with you so playing on very hard with this thing is going to get you bullet sponges to kill it's not fun Okay, on normal difficulty now, we should see this thing do a little bit more damage. Ah, yes, very, very good. Now, this thing might actually perform pretty well. Now that we do have this thing... Oh, yes, so much better. So, uh, I believe that every Junk Master mod I will... Or every Junk Master mod weapon that I will showcase or just use and show off, I will go ahead and switch down to normal because obviously these ones aren't really uh, balanced for very hard. Like a, a no, a not a lot of gun gun mods, sorry, are, uh, but yeah. Oh, Captain Bridget, you've made an appearance early. Well, guess what? You get a full VATS charge to the face there. Okay, we're doing oh much better damage. I've actually recorded this, or tried to record this segment a few times on very high, but everything was super tanky, and it wasn't fun. Also, that's the second time you've done that, Bridget. We can't have you cheating like that. No using console commands. Console commands are for me. And for me only, you get a double crit for your efforts there. Uh, disregard the performance against Bridget. She's just there to have like a mini boss there. She's got like 5,000 health anyway. So you know what? In all things considered, we chopped through her quite easily. Now, since this thing does fire slowly, it's pretty much necessary to use this thing on normal. It will just one-shot you there. And I do believe this is similar to the performance we're actually getting yesterday. Even though there's no such thing as... Um, ooh, we've got a thing there. That was cool. Yeah, even though there's no such thing as damage threshold, which is a excellent, excellent stat for actually balancing shit with. Yeah, we're doing around about the same. And yeah, there's nothing stopping Bethesda from making super tanky enemies. I've done it all the way since... Oh. Fallout 3 when they added their DLC monsters with the Super Mutant and that bloody Red Scorpion. So, um, that's just how Bethesda does stuff. And you can see it all over Skyrim when you choose to play that on higher difficulties. Yes, there we go. We're in Nerd Rage now. And we get a little bit of healing out of that as we kill people, plus a little bit more on top of that. I don't know what that comes from. Again, we're playing on modders terms now not vanilla fallout 4 so some of the perks might have been rechanged but and the uh, guns are different slightly and you might actually see a few more gunners with weapons that you won't recognize from the main game so i do think it is actually a real shame that we don't have these weapons as like standalone things to test properly but at the same time it's a little bit of a breath of fresh air actually being able to cut through gunners fine also is that a multiplaz? Get that, get that out of your hands. You're not allowed to have that. Those are my guns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that. Ooh, it doesn't look. It looks cool. I'm gonna grab that. Look at it. Ooh, nice. Okay, so obviously with all of these gu new guns running around, okay, it's a bit late to get angry there, Phoebs. Yeah, with all these guns running around, it presents a nice little well to draw weapon videos from. So if you are interested in seeing some of the other weapons for this mod, do let me know. 
Um, I'd probably test them all on normal just because, yeah, aforementioned reasons. Also, I didn't kill you properly. We'll go for a crit. Yeah, cop that, mate. And once more, we'll go around and kill this turret there. Ah, uh, yes, playing on normal. I should probably have done this from the start, but I didn't. I needed to farm legendaries whilst recording videos at the same time. It's a hard life for me. Okay. So that was it against some um, gunners, which are tanky. Also, Phoebes has got new shorts because I don't like her being a uh, billboard for a sports brand that I don't like. So yeah, new shorts. We'll go on to kill some super mutants, and maybe they've been less tanky. They've been made less tanky by this mod. Probably not. Okay, now we're in Fallon's department store. We'll kill some tanky super mutant warlords, but they shouldn't be as tanky today, seeing as we're on normal difficulty. Now. The way I actually got this weapon into my hands is quite a tale and it took me friggin' ages and it's kind of annoying, but we'll go for a bat's run on you whilst I explain. So, um, yeah, so first of all, I just spawned a regular laser rifle in my hand and, um, I quickly found out that there was no actual mod to the thing. So I went, um, just searched online for a bit, went to the actual change notes of the thing, uh, uh, typed in. Uh, tri-beam laser rifle with like the hyphen and everything and it came up with six oh fuck off with that yeah it, it came up with like six responses just um listing fixes and stuff of the tri-beam laser gun and it didn't actually mention that it was a standalone weapon which i thought it was it was actually a modification i later then found out that i had a mod that was conflicting with it so that mod since been deleted and uninstalled and never to be seen again uh, piss that one right off. So, um... Okay, I thought we crashed for a second. I was about to, um... I was about to let loose the C word, but, uh... We're good. We're, ke we're gonna keep going. That's good. Oh, you can get crits outside of bats with this mod? Interesting. Interesting indeed. You all saw that. I'm not going mad. Although, Warmock has made something to that effect as a standalone mod, so just go ahead and download that. And that's probably even um, compatible with the PS4 players as well. So uh, if uh, Warmock is keen to upload that into all platforms, then I'd be pretty stoked. Because, yeah, who doesn't love critting outside of that? It's how it's supposed to be. Otherwise, your luck stat is for basically nothing, really. There's not a lot you can do with it. You can't even gamble like you did in New Vegas. So for some astonishing reason, we aren't found by every single super mutant here, which... Ooh, rabid mutant. That's new. So there's uh, basically, I guess there are new enemy types of things in this, which is kind of nice. They really need you to expand upon some of the mutant doggos because it's only regular and glowing, and both of them at end game times are squishy. Also, have they increased the minigun's damage, do you reckon? I reckon they haven't. Ooh, they have as well. Not by a lot, but you know what? That's probably a more usable weapon now, and... Um, yeah, every time I bloody see something, this mod seems actually, you know, better and better, but... No way you buggers haven't seen me yet. Okay, well, you just get a crit for being a dumbass. Ooh, yes, sneak attack for 2.2. So, yep, they've rebalanced some of the stealth perks here. So, little old me is, uh... Yeah, I'm buggered without all my sneak attack criticals all the time. What am I going to do? Also, it has a description for where enemies turn from legendary, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, this is basic knowledge at this point, but they do get a little bit more damage and a little bit more accuracy once they're mutated, which means, yeah, mutating a sniper enemy from far away is pretty deadly if you're playing one-hit wonder. I learned that the bloody hard way. Anyways, now... What else is there to say about this weapon? I guess it looks good. I don't think there's much else to talk about. Um, it's sort of... The laser rifle in and of itself sort of is a nice... Ooh, another crit there. It's a nice sort of thing because obviously um, the thing wasn't packaged like that. It wasn't mass produced like that. So obviously some wastelander has concocted it all of himself. Obviously it's a little bit DIY, which is nice. Although, it's sort of retconned in a way by all of those weird uh, mods you can get with the laser rifle in Fallout 4 anyway, so it's... I don't know. Does this thing even still exist in the canon? Probably not. Todd Howard ruins everything, and um... Speaking of Todd Howard ruining stuff, 
Um, Bethesda actually shut down that Fallout 3 mod that was going to be made. They said, nah, mate, you can't use our voice assets, so, yeah. But instead of... Oh, okay, that was a skirmisher. I thought that was a warlord for a second. I was thinking, what? But yeah, they shut down that mod, so we'll, that'll never see the light of day because the, um, the mod authors can't be bothered recording their own stuff, which is... It's either be costly trying to hire voice actors for it, or just they can't be bothered in general, but... A little bit of laziness and that mod is completely dead, but I'm not really surprised because usually mods like that don't ever see the light of day anyway. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Obsidian are like, yeah, you can make Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, we don't really care. Even though Bethesda owns that, so maybe um, the fact that they are recording their own voice lines is the difference there, but... Yeah, if they want to save that mod, it's a promising looking mod, you should probably just record stuff. In fact, I'd lend my voice there, even though an Australian accent would make no bloody sense in there. And there you go. That was the tri-beam laser rifle there, yes. As I said before, be sure to let me know if you actually want to see more of the Junk Master weapons. They, they seem to be of exceeding quality, so I don't know why the author wouldn't just release them as standalones like little teasers for the junk master mod in and of itself but yeah although we are playing on some modders rules which is different to my usual lovely vanilla um balance of fallout 4 it's nice to change up the game in a little while and yeah frost is cool too that's a nice overhaul mod thank you for watching guys